The sign is right off of the turnpike, so thousands of people are seeing it each and every day. And if they missed it while traveling north, they can easily see it while driving south. It's not always easy to take the best selfie. You need the right lighting, the right angle, the right filter, or in some cases, the right plastic surgeon. So to get this huge monster of a fish on board this boat, it took a lot of strength. And one of these, President Barack Obama is reassuring the public that everything is being done to prevent the spread of this disease. So here's how it works. Everything south of Orange County would be considered South Florida. Everything north would be the new state of North Florida. This F-250 has a pretty heavy duty tailgate. It's got some additional features like a camera and a step, and I was able to take it off in less than 10 seconds. Let's turn things now to a developing story out of Boca Raton where one man had to be rushed to the hospital yesterday after his apartment caught fire. We've been following this story since it all started just before three o'clock this morning. Florida, so Katie Phyllis and what happened on board? Good morning. Well, we're talking about the Royal Caribbean's grandeur of the seas cruise ship. The big game is over, but the celebration isn't even close to being done here in Miami. Researchers in Texas believe they figured out a mysterious ailment that can cause someone to feel intoxicated without drinking any alcohol. It's not hard to miss for those driving along I-95. I'm standing right next to part of it at five foot nine, and as you can see, it just towers right above me. Roxanne, I'm looking forward to that nice weather we're supposed to have next week. We've had steady rainflow here for the past 15 to 20 minutes. Good morning from the Atlantic Ocean where lobster mini season is well underway and they've already caught at least a dozen lobster. I'm actually holding one in my hand right now. Well, the things that we do to bring you an entertaining live shot, we are braving the cold right now and I'm trying to get over my fear of heights to bring you this great view of the South Florida fairgrounds. Developing this morning, we're working to find out more information about a shooting that happened this morning in Palm Beach Gardens. Right now we know a man was shot in the leg and then taken to St. Mary's Medical Center. That's right. Keely, I'm already getting a head start doing a little bit of window shopping right now. Well, you may have heard of the shop local campaign in other cities. Shannon, it's called the Smash SMA Challenge. SMA being spinal muscular atrophy. It's a terminal disease that kills many babies before they reach their second birthday. A local mom has made it her goal to spread awareness of this disease that she and her one-year-old son are now fighting. Hi, everybody. This is Caden. Caden Myers just turned one, a huge milestone for the baby who has spinal muscular atrophy or SMA. It's the most common rare disease that you've never heard of. Hit the egg. Caden's part of a new movement called the Smash SMA Challenge. The goal is worldwide awareness. That's Caden's mom, Katie. She's the vice president of the South Florida chapter of Cure SMA, the group behind the challenge. We want everyone to take videos of themselves smashing the objects to pieces. It's easy to make one of these videos. All you have to do is pick an item, write SMA on it, and smash it. Simple enough, but the message behind it has a much deeper meaning. What I would like to smash more than anything are, is all of his medical equipment. Caden has more than a dozen pieces of medical equipment here in their house, and he has to use each one of them daily. I wish this disease didn't exist and I could smash away all of them. A disease that breaks down muscles. At one year old, Caden should be walking, but his leg muscles are so weak he has to rely on a wheelchair. It's really hard to know that your child is going to get weaker over time, to know that having um, mommy son dances in the future may not happen. Caden goes to nearly a dozen doctor appointments each week. The goal is to get him into a clinical trial, which he can't do until he's two. Until then, his parents will keep fighting to keep him strong and spread awareness of the disease. I love you right up to the moon and back. Shannon, you're absolutely right. When you first see the ad, it's hard to tell exactly what they're trying to sell. The first thing that really grabs you is this set of legs over here with the tiny shorts wrapped around the ankles. The company behind it says this was all meant to be funny. Instead, some are calling it offensive. Inappropriate? It's like strip club. I think it's very offensive. 
those are just some of the words used to describe this ad. Believe it or not, it's an ad for insurance. And you can see it on buses and billboards across Broward and Miami-Dade counties. This app to me makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. The sign is right off of the turnpike, so thousands of people are seeing it each and every day. And if they missed it while traveling north, they can easily see it while driving south. What does insurance have to do with anyone dropping their pants? Kathleen Smith can see this billboard from her backyard in Davie. She wants to know, how do you explain this to your kids? I know they say, Mommy, what's that? You know, what are you going to say? You can't explain it. Estrella Insurance is doing damage control on social media because of the risque photo. This is how they responded to a mom from Boca Raton who criticized the company on Facebook. The company's post says, we feel that we are using a humorous visual to effectively convey a message that is not meant to be disrespectful or offensive in any way. But those we talk to don't see the humor or the point. I don't see insurance in there at all, do you? John, just within the past 10 minutes, an employee with the Florida Department of Transportation just got done painting over this wall you see behind me. We're right off 95 here in Delray Beach. Underneath that paint was the word jihad. It's a Muslim word that means holy war, and it didn't sit well with drivers who came across it. Anybody could probably do it at night because you're on the highway. No one hardly pays attention, but... When you do catch it on the corner of your eye, you're just like, wow. Wow is just one of the words drivers had to say when they saw jihad spray painted on the side of this wall. It's just south of the Atlantic Avenue exit in Delray Beach, a stretch of roadway Heather Smith has been traveling daily. For being a disabled veteran, that, that upsets me. The sign's not hard to miss for those driving along I-95. I'm standing right next to part of it at 5 foot 9, and as you can see, it just towers right above me. Technically, it's a message. I mean, it's, it's huge. It's definitely a message. It's a little nerve-wracking. People got to see that and understand something's going on, you know? There's no telling yet who's behind the graffiti. State troopers are investigating the crime with one piece of evidence, this spray paint can. Probably a bunch of kids, to be honest. I mean... But still, I mean, what, what possesses kids to, to do that? They, they just don't even understand what it means and what it comes from. Deeper into Delray, at the intersection of Southwest 4th Avenue and Linton Boulevard, you find this sticker on the corner. The sticker also reads, Jihad. If it's a joke, it's a sick joke, but if it's, you never know if it is a joke or not. 